ओके अस्सलाम वालेकुम बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम लेट अस स्टार्ट नाउ आवर लेक्चर ओके फॉर कंप्यूटर कंट्रोल वन ओके दिस वन वी हैव कवर्ड लास्ट वीक वी हैव कवर्ड अप टू हियर ओके एंड आई होप दैट यू नो दिस वन वी हैव लास्ट वीक वी हैव कवर्ड अप टू दिस स्लाइड ओके and i hope that everybody has gone through okay and uh, i have given already the link of the of the last week okay i will upload by the way also in the the, uh, the link in the uh, in our uh, you this one uh, in the blackboard okay for the last week lecture youtube link uh, plus, uh, okay so you guys can go through if you if you miss something okay somebody has missed the last week lecture now today inshallah we will start uh, from here okay so this is again uh, we are still discussing uh, the digital to analog converter okay so this is, this example is what this example is showing you that uh, you have a uh, this example shows a complete system it is a computer okay controlling uh, the speed of the motor so we have a computer with the left most most left hand side you can see uh, the computer and it is controlling the speed of the motor so this is the computer we have <coughs> and this is controlling the speed of this motor now computer is a what somebody is doing my friend please uh, nobody shall touch la ilaha illallah Uh, my friend please somebody is uh, you know please don't uh, nobody will uh, uh, please uh, disturb anything okay let me explain here please i request everybody uh, there are some people who are moderator who can just uh, do the things please do not uh, take the things out here okay let me explain the things uh, the slide which are here okay on the which i am putting here please nobody shall uh, shall remove the slide please do not remove the slides so let me start again so i request everybody okay nobody shall uh, do anything uh, the slide should be here in front of us okay and if you have any question please we will go to the discussion window okay in the chat window and we can inshallah uh, discuss whatever we want okay please so now we have this computer okay here we have this computer we have this computer and uh, we have this uh, analog device okay which is the motor okay so this computer is controlling the motor but now the computer is a, a digital device and this is an analog device so we need a analog to digital converter in the middle okay this one is analog digital converter and we are controlling this speed of the motor is a physical variable right so we need another uh, uh, analog an analog device okay so we have a Uh, the analog device that is that is controlling the speed of the motor is the current uh, amplifier okay here okay in the middle okay this is the current amplifier we have here okay so uh, what is happening now the digital uh, input is going from the computer to digital to analog converter uh, please my friend somebody is doing something okay is uh, uh, writing here please do not write <coughs> please do not write do not do anything if you have any question i will ask at the end last we have like we have done last time okay please do not do anything so we have uh, uh, the come this one uh, digital input will go to the digital analog converter will be converted to the analog input analog input will go to the computer uh, this uh, current amplifier and this current amplifier then will control the speed of the motor okay this is the whole way uh, the whole out uh, whole uh, operation okay i hope you that you will have a hard copy will be in front of you okay in front of ready now look what is what is the question now the question says that the figure shows a computer controlling the speed of the motor the 0 to 2 milliampere analog current from the dac from the dac we have the output is 2 to 0 to 2 milliampere okay so we have 0 to 2 milliampere 
here is the output for, from DAC okay and uh, it's telling you that uh, is amplified to produce motor speed from 0 to 1000 rpm so the motor speed that we have here is is 0 to 1000 rpm okay so it is asking you what what it is asking you very simple uh, how many bits means how many number of bits shall be used if the computer is to be able to produce a motor speed that is within 2 rpm of the desired speed now what does it mean within 2 rpm of the desired speed this is actually the k the step size okay this is the k the step size given to you okay means when you go from one step to next step it in increases by 2 rpm so for example when you have <coughs> all zeros input will be all zeros we have okay so we have zero 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 sorry it's not uh, coming uh, right when you will have let me explain to you like this that when you have all zeros it will be zero rpm when we will have zero 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 one whatever okay we'll have two rpm then zero 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 one zero will be a four rpm means from one step to next step the step size the incremental will be two rpm so this is the step size resolution okay step size resolution or k so we are given k here we are given k okay this is k and uh, that we are given here okay this is k we are given here so the first step is what the first step is what that uh, what we have now so the motor speed will range from 0 to 1000 rpm okay that goes from 0 to full scale so each step in the output will produce a step in the motor uh, speed okay so what is the step size is uh, as i explained to you the step size is 2 rpm so how many steps we will have okay if 2 rpm is the step size how many steps i will have very simple uh, it goes up to 1000 okay rpm okay 1000 rpm sorry i am not able to write down properly so it is able to write to have 1000 rpm very simple okay i am writing here in the message window 1000 rpm over two step size why okay because when we will have input zero zero all zeros the step size is let's say zero rpm okay the speed is zero rpm when we have zero 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 one whatever okay it will be two rpm when we have uh, uh, zero 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 uh, one zero it will be four rpm okay and so on <coughs> because we have a step size we have an incremental we have a resolution of two rpm okay so how many steps we need very simple we need 1000 by 2 okay which is equals to 500 steps we need okay okay so for the 500 steps how many number of bits we need very simple we know that uh, if we have two bits we can get up to four if we have three bits we can get up to uh, up to eight four bit 16 five bit 32 uh, six bit 64 seven bit 128 and uh, eight bit we will give it will give us 256 and up to nine bit it will give us what 512 right 512 steps so it means our digital system should be should be equals to we should have total nine bits that will give me how many steps 500 for minimum 500 steps very simple okay so again we will see what is the range we are given from 0 to 1000 rpm for 1000 rpm and the step size is 2 rpm so how many steps we will have very simple 1000 rpm over 2 we have 500 steps so 0 2 4 6 8 okay and uh, like this one okay yeah in one step 2 rpm okay so how many steps we need 500 steps for 500 steps how many number of bits we need we need 9 bits okay so this is the way we solve the question okay guys okay everyone
So very simple. We will go, uh, we will see from the maximum number of uh, and the number of steps. Uh, step size. We will see the number of steps. Uh, what do you mean by 0.0001? No, there is no 0.0001. Means I mean uh, the input, digital input. This uh, this is what I am saying that you know when we will have digital input, digital input will be the first input. Let's say all zeros. What will be the output? Zero RPM, right? Then we will have digital input zero 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 one. Okay. What will be the RPM? Mm -hmm. RPM. Okay, because we have step size. Okay, we I, I don't know how many number of bits, right? Okay, so I am just explaining you that I am talking about the digital input, not 0, 0.00. No, digital inputs. Okay, because we have two RPM as the step size. Okay, so and now here we have nine bits. It means what for 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0 we will have zero RPM. Or we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, we will have 2 RPM for 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, <coughs> 0, 1, 0, we will have 4 RPM and so on, okay? And uh, yeah, how I come? Because this is what I'm trying to tell you. Because we have 1000 RPM is the maximum, right? And the incremental is 2 RPM, right? This is what we see. We have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 RPM, okay? So we have uh, 2 RPM, 4 RPM. Okay. So how many steps I will have? I will have 500 steps, right? And uh, if I have 500 steps, how I can get 500 steps? From 9 bits, okay? Because 2 to the power 9, 2 to the power 9 will give me will be give me 512 if i sorry 512 okay if i have if i say 8 bit 8 bit will give me 256 okay 256 steps but i need 500 steps right i need 500 steps because 1000 divided by 2 rpm is the step size i need 500 steps Uh, 500 steps, I need 9 bits. Clear everybody? Okay. So very simple. You will see 1000 RPM. How many, what is the step size? 2 RPM. Okay. 2 RPM. So 1000 by 2 RPM will have 500 steps. Okay. For 500 steps, how many number of bits should be there? So we should have 9 bits. Okay. And uh, look, second example will become very clear. Okay. On the second problem down on the same page. In the above problem, if we want to control the motor speed from 0 to 500 RPM, okay? So now if we have 0 to 500 RPM, yes, 9 bit is the answer. 9 bit is the answer, okay? Yes. Okay. Now it is telling you that instead of 0 to 1000 RPM, we have 0 to 500 RPM, right? What will happen now? Very simple. 500 and the step size is the same step size is 2 rpm right <coughs> same so we will simply see how many steps i need 500 by 2 we need 250 steps right so for 250 steps yes we need 8 bits very simple okay because 250 steps we can get 8 bits by 8 bit okay so this is the very simple uh, handout okay very simple questions we have for the digital to analog converter. Yes. Okay. Now the next uh, thing what we will discuss here is the DAC circuits. Okay. We will discuss here the DAC circuits, digital to analog uh, converter circuits that we have here. So the first digital to analog converter circuit is using binary weighted uh, uh, weighted uh, resistors. Okay. Here. Okay. Binary weighted resistors. You can see here. This is the binary weighted resistor, okay? Binary weighted resistor. And I know everybody is aware of this one. This is summing amplifier, okay? Everybody knows it is summing amplifier. And it is a 4-bit summing amplifier. We can have 5-bit, we can have 6-bit, 7-bit, 
8 bit and so on and so forth and uh, very simple we have uh, least significant bit to most significant bit so we have this one here least significant and this is most significant three rpm what three rpm guys what do you mean who said three rpm we have 500 it is telling you range in the previous question it is telling you zero to 500 rpm right okay so 500 rpm what is the step size two so it is 250 steps very simple we don't have uh, 3 rpm okay so anyways come back here please okay i'm discussing here now the binary weighted resistor we will inshallah discuss the uh, brother abdullah okay at the end uh, if you have any question we can discuss uh, let me just me explain this one okay so we have binary weighted resistor okay so we have uh, least significant bit to most significant bit we have four bit summing amplifier and summing amplifier everybody knows we have uh, this is the rf uh, i think everybody is aware this is the rf okay and uh, and this is the r1 r2 r3 r4 okay which are here okay uh, so we have uh, what what happens now that uh, for example this rf it is it is written uh, uh, this one is rf this one here is rf okay everybody this one is rf i think everybody knows right you know rf right all of you know summing amplifier right <coughs> yes okay so we have rf here and the first one with the msb is r1 r2 r3 and r4 okay so what is this one that uh, the msb will be the same as rf okay so if rf is one kilo ohm msb is also one kilo ohm okay and then we have uh, the the second one is two kilo ohm the third one is four kilo ohm and then we have eight kilo ohm and the lsb will be the eight kilo ohm okay and the input va we have the input va vb vc and vd here okay we have a voltage inputs here okay here we have uh, voltage inputs a okay va vb vc and vd okay these are the voltage inputs okay and this voltage input will be it is by it is digital so it will be zero or one okay zero or one so if we have zero volt it means it is if we have we have zero it means zero volt if it is one input input is one it means five volt okay so the binary inputs are here okay zero or one so it will be zero volt or five volt okay this is one thing which is important to you for you to understand and uh, the second thing is which is critical is uh, uh, the rf okay so the rf depends upon uh, the the value of the resistor at the msb <coughs> at the msb so rf over so what is the uh, statement that we get here so we have d c b a okay d is the msb voltage up to a is the lsb voltage so what we get here the expression i think everybody knows very well minus rf over r1 into vd plus rf over r2 into vc plus rf over r3 vv plus rf over r4 va and the whole thing is closed in the bracket okay why is minus because it is a non inverting uh, sorry inverting amplifier so we have this minus i am talking about my friends this expression here and i know that everybody understand this expression okay this expression okay all of you know what how it comes right okay uh, so minus rf over r1 okay and the msb is uh, vd rf over r2 msb is uh, vc uh, then uh, we have vc rf over r3 vb rf over r4 va okay so this is the way this is the summing amplifier uh, equation and i think everybody shall know 
summing amplified equation okay uh, we have input variables and we have a b c d so you can see here the inputs input code a b c d so a is here okay b is here c is here d is here if it is 0 0 volt if it is 1 1 volt okay so uh, now we solve it uh, what is v a v a is 1 kilo ohm v a is uh, 8 kilo ohm and it is 1 kilo ohm so 8 by uh, this one 8 uh, 1 by 8 uh, so we have 1 by 8 v a then we have 2 uh, this v uh, this v b is if we see VB, VB is 4 kilo ohm and uh, RF is 1. So 4 by, uh, we get uh, 4 by, uh, 1 by 4, which uh, into VB, 1 by 2 VC. And why VD? Because VD, RF over R1, 1 over 1, right? So 1 over 1 will give me VD, okay? The same VD. So therefore, yes, yes, this is what I said, 0, is 0 volt 1 is 5 volt we you all know guys okay you know this one okay so what my point is if you see this equation so when i put this one equation here okay minus uh, so the first one is let's let me just uh, solve this equation okay rf over r1 what is rf rf is 1 and r1 is 1 times vd right okay vd plus what is RF? 1 over uh, R2 uh, is 2, okay, times VC plus 1 and uh, R3 is 4 times VB plus 1 and R4 uh, is 8, okay, for the LSB, okay, times VA. Clear everybody? So this is the equation, same like summing amplifier, and we got it minus. So therefore, when I saw when I got what I got it minus Vd plus one by two Vc plus one by two Vb plus one by eight Va. Now, if you see here <coughs> and this equation, now see this equation. This equation that I have written here is very critical. Understand. Try to understand this equation, okay, which I have written here also, okay. This equation, guys. This equation. What do you understand from this equation? VA is LSB, right? VA is the LSB, so the weight is the lowest, 1 by 8, right? VB is uh, next one, so it is 1 by 2. We see, uh, sorry, 1 by 4. I'm uh, VB is 1 by 4, okay. It is, uh, I'm just sorry, one thing which I make uh, one, I let me write again VD plus 1 by 2 VC plus 1 by 4 VB plus 1 by 8 VA, okay. So if you see here. So, VA is the least significant bit, so it has the least weight, 1 by 8. And VD is the most significant bit, so it has the highest one, right? The highest weight, which is uh, 1, okay? Then uh, VC is uh, the next lowest, and then the VB is the next one, okay? And the lowest weight is 1 by 8 for the LSB. So, the LSB weight is 1 by 8, lowest. And MSB is uh, one times one times VD, so it is the highest. Okay, everybody understand? This is the equation that we have. So once I have this equation, just one minute, my friend. Just one minute. <coughs> So, uh, uh, yeah, this formula uh, is co constant because uh, what we can have, we can have 5 bit, right? Okay, assume. Okay, now guys, assume it is 5 bit. So, in the 5 bit, let's say, assume now see the example of 5. Let's say 
if we have five bits okay now in the five bits we will have a uh, we will have v a v b v c v d and v e right five bits okay so we will have five bits a b c d e right now tell me how will be the formula how the formula will become very simple it will become what v e yes very good uh, v v a uh, sorry uh, 1 by 16 v a okay not v e okay so v e plus 1 by 2 v d plus 1 by 4 v c plus 1 by 8 v b plus 1 by 16 v a okay clear everybody okay because we have five bits now so i will simply extend one more v a will always remain my lsb and msb will be increased by one v e okay <coughs> so now the the structure of the formula will remain the same why the structure of the formula because it is binary weighted resistor summing amplifier okay okay i will let me explain again we all know summing amplifier right okay so what we are doing now we are converting from digital to analog so digital and digital inputs are here a b c d okay analog output so here we have digital inputs and here we have analog output my first thing is okay my first thing is one minute my first thing is to find out the expression right how we write the expression and the designing we have binary weighted resistor so the design is we have to choose the resistor we have to choose we have to choose the right resistor okay why we have to choose because it is binary weighted okay binary weighted okay so we have to choose so the first one as i said to you uh, the lsb the lsb has the least and the msb has the most okay so therefore what i did here for the uh, if rf is one i kept the same for the msb so one by one will give me the highest weight okay so i get here minus one by one one kilo ohm and one kilo ohm vd okay plus one kilo ohm by two okay we see the next plus one kilo ohm by four uh, vb okay the next input okay one by eight va okay so here we have va is the least significant bit so it has the least least weight okay and vd is the most significant bit so it has the highest weight so our input so this one is our v out by the way this is the v out so what is the v out means the analog output will become equals to minus vd <coughs> plus <coughs> 1 by 2 vc plus 1 by 4 vb plus 1 by 8 va okay very simple okay so this is the way if we have five bits so v out is the analog output okay analog output we have inputs vd okay vc vb va and they are digital input digital input means if they are zero it is zero volt one is one volt okay and if it is five bit for five bit i will accordingly add one more right so it will become analog output v out will be equals to minus ve plus vd by 2 plus vc by 4 plus vab by 8 plus va by 16 very simple everybody okay okay so this is the very simple design and it is summing amplifier we all know the only thing is binary weighted resistor we put because it is binary weighted we know power of 2 okay power of 2 increasing power of 2 and we have and so very simple whatever the and the digital input will come here whatever digital input will come here at a b c d 
will be converted into analog output okay v out clear everyone okay okay everybody okay now let's see the inputs now very simple let's see the input the first input is what zero zero uh, okay now let's see the input zero 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 so what will be v out very simple v out will be all zero right all zero the next one is input 0, 0, 0, 0001. Okay, now I am I am describing the table now. Okay, everybody, see the table now here. Okay, 0, 0, 0, 0001. So 0, 0, 0, 0001, what will happen now? V D uh, V output will become equals to what? So uh, one one is what? A is one, right? Others all zero. So we have uh, VD0, VC0, VB0, only VA, okay? So 1 by 8 times, times 5 volt, clear? Okay? Yes? Yes. Yes. So minus, so we got minus 0 0.625 volt. Very simple. If I have... 0, 0, 1, 0 input. Okay. What will happen now? V out. What will happen? Now here, VD will be 0, VC will be 0, and VA will be 0, right? So we have minus, minus 1 by, uh, 1 by, uh, so B, what we have with the B? We have 1 by 4, right? Okay. 1 by 4 times, 5 volt okay why 5 5 volt the others are 0 right okay only vb is 1 the others are 0 and so on if i have 1 1 1 1 guys what will happen now very simple v out will be equals to minus now all of them are 5 volt right 1 1 1 1 the last one The last one, okay. What we have now? <coughs> we have a 5 by 5 plus 5 by 2 plus uh, 5 by 4 plus 5 by 8. So simple, okay. Yeah? Because all inputs are 1, so all are 5 volt, okay. So VA, VB, VC, VD, all of them are 5 volt when you solve it. You will get minus 9.375 volt okay well, guys everybody is okay understand everyone yes you will apply each part of the equation okay uh, and the reason is because all of them are one okay now let's say that i have five bit input five bit inputs okay five five bits design so five bit design i explained to you v out and the log output will be equals to minus okay ve plus because now e will become ve will become uh, this one what you call it uh, msb okay plus, uh, vd by 2 plus vc by uh, 4 plus vb by 8 plus v a by 16 okay this is my equation so when i will have all ones what will happen it will become minus 5 plus 5 by 2 plus 5 by 4 plus 5 by 8 plus 5 by 16 very simple okay and you can find out this is your full scale right because we are putting all one full scale or reference or full scale or reference or the maximum okay so maximum will be at v uh, one 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 everybody understand okay everyone <coughs> okay i have now one question okay from everyone so you know full scale okay whenever i have all the inputs one we'll get the full scale output so in this example so in this example what is the full scale full scale sorry full scale is 
this one okay because all the inputs are one 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 here okay okay full scale is minus 9.375 volt i have one question now what is the step size in uh, these examples in this one what is the step size who will care, tell me what is the step size or k or resolution what is that one can anybody tell me how will find <coughs> very simple question please tell me waiting for you no guys no what is k what i define okay but uh, 1 over 2 power n minus 1 but that is for percentage resolution okay i am asking about the step size or resolution what is resolution here it is percentage resolution what is the step size in this example who can tell me there are many ways to find a step size okay then okay so analog output over digital input so what is now here yes very good muhammad okay very simple ya khi ya habibi guys everybody what is k analog output over digital input right very simple so if i see from the last case what do you mean ya khi how okay last case you see the last case full scale minus 9.375 over what 11111 what is 11111 is 15 right you can find or from the second step what is second step steps okay when you find it will be minus 0.625 volt but the easiest is what find from the second step why in second step input is what 0001 right which is one in decimal right so k will be analog output analog output is what minus 0.625 and what is the input 00001 which is one right so you get minus 0.625 volt okay and uh, another way is what uh, so always remember guys in this example what we do we find from the input 0001 we see whatever is the 0.625 whatever the output that will be the uh, that will be the work k and if you see the other way is what see the incremental okay from the steps each step what is the incremental how we are going in each step we have 0 0.625 minus 1.25 minus 1.875 so every time increment is how much 0.625 right i can find out that k i can also find out k equals to minus 1.25 minus minus 0.625 okay because that is the increment in each step right so again i will get minus 0.625 volt okay because we say k is the step size okay so there are so many ways to find out k tell me everybody understand everybody okay what happened no what is k habibi yes why no muhammad mudir muhammad who say no muhammad yusuf what is k what is k step size k equals to what analog output over what digital input now check any step Habibi, check any step. Let's say I check the second step because it is the easiest one, right? What is the second step? The output minus 0.625 volt, right? What is the input? 0001, right? What is 0001? It is 1. Clear? So you guys get this one. 
or see the from the last step. What is the last step? What is the last step? Minus 9.375, right? Which I find from the formulas, right? And what is the input? 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, what is 1, 1, 1, 1? 15, right? Class. I will get what? Again, I will get what? Minus 0.625. Okay, so very simple, my friend. Very simple. So what we everybody okay? Yes, in any steps, in any step, you can find in any step. Okay, okay. Then um, yes, this is what we discussed last week. Who one zero one zero? Okay, let's see one zero one zero. One zero one zero is what? Uh, one zero one zero. Okay, one zero one zero. Okay. What is 1010? For 1010, we will have, uh, uh, we are getting output is minus 6.25 volt, right? Clear? Okay. So, what we have? K will be equals to what? Minus 6.25 volt over, what is 1010? It is 10, right? Okay. It is 10, right? Okay. So, what is 10? Uh, if you divide by 10, what do you get? Minus 0.625. Same thing, Yaakhi. <coughs> so, it is same thing. Yes, 5 plus 1 by 4 by 5 is what? Uh, minus 0.625. Minus, minus 6.25. So, it is same. Okay? Okay. Anach, my friend Anach Muhammad Farid. Fine. Okay, everyone. Those who asked the question, who were not clear, uh, okay. Yes, I applied the equation. Okay, Muhammad Yusuf, what you don't understand, K? Okay, Muhammad Yusuf. Okay, guys, what is K? Last week we studied what is K. Uh, okay, Yusuf, you tell me yourself. Write down what is K. Tell me what is K. Yes, sir, Yusuf. What is the uh, Yusuf? Please write down what is K. What is the def uh, definition of the K? K is what step size, right? And what is definition? Step size. It is what? Analog output over what? Digital input, right? Clear, everybody? Clear, Yusuf? Okay, Yusuf? Okay, just one minute. Okay. Now apply this equation in any play, in any state. state. Let's see the second one. Let's see the second one. Yusuf, see the second one. What is this one? Yusuf, how you apply? How you apply? Why you why, why you get uh, uh, 1010? Uh, 5.6. How can you, uh, Anas, how can you get uh, uh, 5.625? How can you get? Uh, uh, first of all, let me answer Yusuf. Yes, oh, Yusuf, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? What is the output here, there? What is the output there? Minus 0 0.625, right? Yes. So divided by 1. Class. This is my K. Okay, go to the last step. Okay. Go to the last step. Yusuf, go to the last step. <coughs> Minus. Okay, zero zero one zero, right? What is this one? Minus one point two five over what? Zero zero one zero is what two, right? What you will get? Minus point six two five. Clear? Okay. Okay. Now uh, somebody Anas. Anas, what is your problem, Habibi? Anas one zero one zero. Okay. What is the output? I will get very simple. Minus. Now, 1010, one, zero, one, zero, what is 1? 
vd is 1 right so i will add plus 5 plus and uh, v uh, d is 1 and vb is 1 uh, vb is what vb is what 5 by 4 okay 5 by 4 right okay anas okay anas so 1 0 1 0 is we have not 5 by 8 yaqi 1 0 1 0 how can we 5 by 8 5 by 4 5 by 8 is for the a okay 1 0 1 0 look the equation okay okay so this is your problem now okay hanas fine not 5 by 8 okay okay just only there is a mistake maybe in the book yes okay okay uh, guys there is a mistake Th thanks anas there is a mistake 1010 zero, zero. it is not 5 by 8 it is 5 by uh, guys just one minute there is a mistake here thanks us for highlighting okay this mistake here for 1010 zero, zero, it is uh, not 5 it is 5 plus 5 by 4 okay not 5 by 8 okay now one guy asked the question for uh, can you please repeat what RF uh, Mustafa okay and how can I apply, apply okay Mustafa Mustafa are you here okay now Mustafa listen RF is what uh, you know summing amplifier right what is RF RF is the feedback resistor okay in the summing amplifier okay so what we when we design the summing amplifier uh, we design uh, we have RF and we have this RF here And we have different resistors here, okay? Okay, here, 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 okay? Now, since I discuss, it is a binary weighted resistor, binary weighted design, okay? DAC using binary weighted. So how we will design? Very simple, okay? How we design? Whatever the RF, I will came to the first R1, okay? So whatever is RF will be same as here for the MSB. Okay, because I, this is the way we design. Okay, we will keep the same. Assume, <coughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, it is a good question. Assume that you don't want one kilo ohm. You want to keep two kilo ohm. You want to keep how much? Two kilo RF, two kilo. So if you keep two kilo, this will become also two kilo. Okay. The next will become four kilo. Then eight kilo, sixteen kilo. Clear? If I keep, let's say, four kilo, this one RF, four kilo. The again the next will be the same way will be uh, increased okay because we have to keep the weight to be same okay weighted weights must be same so I can choose any RF but then R1 R2 R3 R4 will all change clear okay everyone it is a good question by the way okay everyone because i need to maintain the binary weighted resistors okay i need to maintain it okay binary weight and what is the weight the weight i have to define like this <coughs> i must get this one okay sorry no, it is very difficult sometimes I must define no RF is not the incremental my friend RF is not the incremental who told you RF is the incremental no no RF is not the incremental okay incremental is multiply by 2 incremental is simply multiply by 2 okay from R1 so R2 will be R2 will be equals to R1 times 2 because this is binary weighted right R3 will be equals to R2 times 3 oh, sorry la ilaha illallah sorry this is wrong huh? R3 will be equals to R2 times 2 yes okay and R4 will be equals to R3 times 2. 
आर एफ इज ओनली द बिगिनिंग वन द पर्पज ऑफ आर एफ इज टू डिफाइन वट विल बी आर वन सो आर एफ विल डिफाइन ओनली आर वन एंड देन यू विल फाइन आर टू आर थ्री आर फोर क्लियर ओके एवरी वन ओके बिकॉज इट इज बाइनरी वेटेड ओके ओके so uh, now let's go to the next it is a 5 bit i discuss already 5 bit okay and it is clear to everybody i discuss already 5 bit okay yes yes r must be good question r must be <coughs> even number <coughs> okay i must be uh, and in general we keep we keep 1 uh, kilo 2 kilo and so on and so forth okay now uh, so the next page now we come over this problem this problem is the same that we discussed before okay this problem is same for the 5 bit i already discussed with you guys okay you can solve uh, for the 5 bit okay you can solve it okay you can find different outputs okay so for example if we have 1 1 1 5 bit 1 1 1 1 1 okay so what will be the output v out will be equals to what will be equals to minus 5 uh, sorry minus 5 plus 5 by 2 plus 5 by 4 plus 5 by 8 plus 5 by 16 clear everybody okay This is simple. Okay, for one, 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 one. Okay, and so on. We can find out. Now, there is one now problem which is here. Uh, we will discuss now the second one. Okay, uh, which is uh, R to R ladder deck. Okay. By the way, today there is a one uh, thing I notice that in uh, attendance is very bad. Okay. Last week we have Mashallah 26, 27 guys, and unfortunately today we have only 22. I don't know. guys discuss in the uh, in the group okay whatsapp group all those student okay although the lecture will be i will upload online okay and i on the on the youtube but if somebody is not attending he will suffer okay he has to suffer and those who are attending they will see the advantage okay okay now uh we will start now the second one r to 2 r ladder deck before we start r to 2 r ladder deck there is something here explained here okay to you what is the why uh, the what is the problem now we have <coughs> what is the problem why it is not a good idea this binary weighted register the first one that we see here binary weighted okay why it is not the good idea the uh uh okay uh uh what happened my friend any question uh, 3819010001 what do you mean 5 <coughs> got is 5 bit the read the question five bit deck i to i explained before five bit deck okay it is a five bit deck so five bit deck you will have add one more variable okay we uh, we e one more input five digit input okay it is five bits input so one more clear okay very simple okay Uh, so we have ve it will go va uh, va vb vc vd ve up to ve we will go up to ve okay and the equation is there okay now guys r22 r ladder deck now the second type r22 r ladder deck first of all you need to study what is here and i will explain this one okay what is the other here what is the issue why we have introduced R to two R deck. Okay. The problem is with the uh, binary weighted register is that let's see. Now when we have five bit, okay. Uh, if I say uh, four, let's say the four bit. You see the four bit first, right? 
so when you see the four bit guys what we have the issue uh, we have sorry here okay we have uh, the first register is one kilo then two kilo then four kilo then eight kilo right when we will have the five bit when we will have five bit it will become 16 kilo then uh, six bit 32 kilo because every time is multiplied by two right okay every new register is multiplied by two right okay so if i have let's say uh, 10 bit so maybe the first resistor will be 1 kilo, the last resistor will be 1024 kilo ohm, right? So the resistor change is too much. Means I have a circuit in which I have one resistor is 1 kilo and the another resistor is 1024 kilo ohm, okay? Or assume we have 8 bit case, okay? For the 8 bit, we'll have the first resistor 1 kilo and the last resistor will be. 128 kilo so when you will have a circuit if you have a circuit like this in which we have so much change that we have one resistor one kilo and the last resistor is 128 kilo and so on and uh, 256 kilo and uh, one uh, then uh, we have uh, 512 kilo and then 1024 kilo one mega ohm this resist this circuit will not work properly okay then the uh, then we will have the issues okay it is not possible we cannot keep maintain then <coughs> the ratios okay we cannot maintain the ratio so this is the issue now here okay so if we see here if we see here if we see here what is the description here i am i am reading what is hand highlighted here okay i am reading this one what is everybody now will see with me what is written here okay please everybody see with me okay what is written in this part the DAC using binary weighted resistor has some practical limitation what is the limitation the biggest problem is the large difference in the resistor values between the lsb and msb especially in the high resolution DAC. high resolution means circuit having many bits so if for example msb resistor is one kilo ohm in a 12 now assume i have a 12 bit deck okay i have up till now we have seen five bit deck but assume i have 12 bit deck then if the msb is one kilo resistor the lsb will be over two mega ohm it will be two mega more than two mega ohm okay so with the current ic fabrication technology it is very difficult to produce resistance values <coughs> over a wide resistance range that maintain an accurate ratio so they will not be able to maintain the accurate ratio especially with the variation in the temperature because you know when the temperature changes resistance also changes okay so you have so many variety of resistance one resistance is one kilo and the other resistance is more than two mega ohm it's not good okay up to four bit is fine we have one kilo up to 16 kilo but even uh, eight kilo but even five bit we have one kilo and 16 kilo it is a huge difference okay for this reason, it is preferable to have a circuit that uses resistance that are fairly close in the values. Okay, so this is the reason we use our okay. the issue. You understand the point? So the problem is what? What is the problem in uh, in uh, binary weighted? What is the problem in binary weighted? What is the disadvantage? Large, okay, variation in resistor values which is impractical not possible okay large variation so therefore we have now this r22 r ladder network you can see here okay this is the r22 r how it works understand it okay and it is very simple by the way and understand it we have <clears throat> we have uh, you can see from one step to another step see here how this circuit is from one step to another step, if you go, it is R to 2R, okay? We have only R to 2R, okay? Means you have only two resistor. If I, if I will have one resistor, one kilo ohm, the other will be only two kilo ohm, okay? And uh, here we have the logics, okay? Uh, this one is the, what do you call it? This one is... Uh, this uh, the context okay see here guys this context 
when you will have all ones all the contact will be closed if we have a 0 0 0 1 then only the first one will be closed other will be open okay so only that bit will come which is coming from the v reference okay from the v reference so here what is the advantage in this r to 2 r ladder network okay and we have so the input is from so input is coming from here and output is here yeah variation means habibi what is the meaning of variation look here in the four bit what is the first resistor r1 one kilo right r1 is one kilo right and what is r4 r4 is eight kilo right clear so one to eight kilo assume it is five bit then it will be from one kilo to what one kilo to what 16 kilo right and if it is six bit then will be one kilo to what uh, 32 kilo right and so on clear okay it is not good this variation is not good this is the variation it is not good we can the circuit becomes in it, it is difficult the circuit is difficult okay it is not possible okay it is it is problem we cannot maintain and uh, uh, this one uh, the uh, the ratio okay this is a simple so my friends very simple so we have r to 2 r network we have only two resistors r to r r to r okay <coughs> what is the now what is important in this one very simple what is the formula the formula is important everybody understand the formula v out is equals to <coughs> v out is equals to minus v reference divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 times binary input okay times binary input okay times binary input so we have please understand this formula is very simple okay uh, so the advantage is we have only one resistor is r1 where two resistor will have r and 2r if it is 1 kilo 2 kilo 2 kilo 4 kilo okay we have only two values the out Input and the log output so we have digital input digital input will be uh, will be here and the log output will be here okay and the formula is this one v out will be equals to minus v reference over 2 to the power n minus 1 times binary input whatever the binary input binary input can go uh, b can go from 0 to 15 okay 0 0 0 0 2 1 1 1 1 okay so 0 in, uh, in decimal 0 to 15 okay very simple uh, here it is 4 bit it can be 5 bit it can be 6 bit 7 bit whatever but whatever even if I have 10 bits even I have 10 bits okay I have only two resistors R to R R to R okay only we have two resistors. This is the way circuit is designed. Clear, my friends? Okay. And uh, we control the contact. Everybody, we control the contact and number of bit as the uh, bit will be one. So if this LSB is one, LSB is there. So if the LSB is one, for example, then this contact will be closed. Okay. And if MSB is one, this contact will be closed. Okay. So depending upon what I have. <coughs> the contact will be closed okay everybody okay so this is the formula very simple now look this question assume that this is the last thing by the way okay we'll discuss this is the last thing and inshallah will and so please everybody focus okay so assume that v reference equals to 5 volt for the DAC okay yeah contact contact will be depending upon the input if that particular digital input is 1 the contact will be closed if that particular digital input will be zero contact will be open clear okay okay so uh, now see the question in this uh, in this uh, have one assume that v reference is 5 volt what are the resolution and the full scale okay now we have to apply in this one we have to apply only this formula okay only this formula okay we have to apply this formula okay so very simple first of all full scale 
yeah n number of bits sure n is number of bits so now very simple i will find out full scale guys okay very simple v out will be equals to what minus v reference is 5 volt over 2 to the power 2 to the power n minus 1 means 4 minus 1 which is 3 right and the power n minus 1 is on the top as a power okay n minus 1 is complete power okay times times what what is the uh, b 15 clear okay so we have we got minus 5 by 8 times 15 which is minus 9.375 volt <coughs> okay everybody now for the Baba, Hazivi, Havivi, N is what? 4 here, right? 4 bit. Number of a bit is 4. And what is B? Uh, okay. Okay, okay. No problem, no problem. Okay. Understand here. What is N? What is number of bit for this example? N is 4. Clear? Formula is what? Formula is given to me here. Formula is this one. Formula is v out v out is equals to minus v reference over 2 to the power and now n minus 1 is all together okay n minus 1 okay is together times uh, uh, times b clear what is b B is the binary input, N is the number of bits, okay, and B is the binary input. Now for full scale, tell me guys, for full scale, what will be B? B will be what? 1, 1, 1, 1, right? Which is what? 15. Am I right or not? Okay. Okay, everyone. Okay. So, now apply in the formula. Apply in the formula. V out is what? Minus. What is V reference given in the question, right? 5. Uh, over 2 to the power what n minus 1 is in the power okay so 4 minus 1 because number of bits is 4 here right 3 and times it is full scale so b is 1 1 1 1 which is what 15 clear so how much i got i got when you solve it minus 9.375 volt simple okay this is for the full scale okay guys full scale now i need a k or a step size who will tell me how will i find k or step size there are two ways again how can i find k or step size again there are two ways okay another example i will give you but just tell me now how will i find k and step size Anybody? What is K? Yes. Khalaf. Ya Latif. MashaAllah. Again, I am just looking who is, uh, who is, uh, uh, you know, and digital input. Okay. And the large digital input. So, what is K? What is the full scale? 9.375. We just find, right? And the log output over digital input is what? 1, 1, 1, 1, 15, khalas. Okay? Very simple, minus 0. 0.625. Now, there is another way. I told another way. Another way is what? What is another way? Yes. How can we find another way? K. We can find another way, K, if we take the input 0, 0, 0, 1. Whatever the output at 0, 0, 0, 1, okay? v out will be equals to k at input 0, 0, 0, 1 because the first is 0 right i told you k is a step size okay incremental so another is a very simple i consider 0, 0, 0, 1 i found analog output 
yeah between the, between the two points or this one okay so for k now somebody asked me another example okay uh, so i will find another uh, k v out at in 0 0 0 1 okay so what will be the output v out again the formula is what minus v reference 5 over 2 to the power 4 minus 1 3 times now when the input is 0 0 0 1 what is b b will be 1 clear so what what i get minus 5 over 8 which is what minus 0 0.625 which is our k also so another way to find k is what very simple you find at k uh, 0. Point. yes yes this is what i did here this is what i did this is what i did here okay so another way is uh, another way is what find minus 5 by a uh, for the k uh, output at 0, 0, 0, 1, that will be the uh, that will be the k as well okay guys so here we have all the solution you can find out okay other question you can see okay uh, other problem uh, what you will do now please everybody everyone please in the home solve these two questions okay in the home we will discuss start now from the deck specification next week okay i will end the lecture now i hope that everybody understand please up to here more more uh, okay next week we will have a short quiz maybe short quiz next week or after next week okay i will announce okay but you just prepare for the quiz okay i have to just okay uh, most likely quiz next week but prepare, uh, I will announce, okay? What you need to do, just prepare yourself. Prepare up to what we discuss. Up to the uh, prepare last two lectures. Last two lectures. This lecture and the last lecture, okay? Okay? This lecture and the last lecture. <coughs> uh, we will, I will define, don't worry, okay? Just what you do. This lecture, what we have done today. And the last lecture, what we had done last.